Let's say you maintain sales prices for individual materials or have specific customer material prices stored in SAP. From time to time, these need to be adjusted. Think of a yearly price increase or incidental price adjustments. This may cause a lot of stress on your pricing team in case all these updates are done manually. SAP as for hana offers a relatively easy solution for this. Keep watching if you are interested in how to easily create or update sales prices in malls in SAP as for hana Hi, my name is Jules Weijers and I'm an order to cash consultant at McCoy & Partners. With SAP as for hana you can easily create, update, down and upload prices via the app Manage Prices Sales. In this McCoy TV episode, I will explain the basic concept of pricing in SAP Sales & Distribution and I will demo how to create new condition records for materials via the app. In Sales & Distribution, pricing refers to the process of determining the prices of products or services during sales transactions. For example, you create a sales order for Sales Organization 3710, Distribution Channel 10, Division 00 for a customer without a specific classification for pricing procedure. Based on the sales transaction, SAP then determines the pricing procedure. Now, the pricing procedure is a framework that defines a sequence in which different condition types are applied during pricing. The pricing procedure can also be adjusted based on the pricing strategy. Pricing procedure often contains condition types such as the base price, discounts, surcharges, freight costs and taxes. So, a condition type represents a specific pricing element. Examples are the base price, discount, a surcharge, taxes or freight costs. Each condition type can have an access sequence. An access sequence is a hierarchical search strategy to find valid condition records during pricing. For example, you can maintain prices for the customer material combination or for a material only. A condition record stores data for specific pricing conditions, such as customer specific prices or material specific discounts. This can be the value for the base price, for example. So, to summarize, you create a sales document and the system looks for valid condition records via the access sequence search strategy. It searches for a specific condition type that is present in the pricing procedure. The final price is then calculated based on the settings in the pricing procedure. Now, I've explained the basics of sales pricing. With the app Manage Prices Sales, you can easily create, edit, copy, delete, or down and upload multiple condition records at once. I will now show you in this demo how to easily create new condition records. We use the app Manage Prices Sales and in there we have several filtering options. We search here for condition type PPR0 and after we hit go we see all condition records for condition type PPR0. Then we download the template. And in the template, there are also some instructions regarding mandatory fields, for example, with some explanation. And at the top of the second sheet, we also see the two access sequences listed. So the first one is for the customer and material combination and the second is for the material only. Then below is where we actually register the condition record itself. So we see the product, the customer and the condition amount. And the next two lines show the product or material and no customer and the condition amount. Please also note that we need to fill a temporary condition record number, a sequential number when using scales, and the, and the valid from date. The valid to date is used when the condition is active for a limited period. Now for the next step, we will import some condition records. We choose our file and hit import. Okay, and if we have a look at the import history, we can see the result of our import. So here we see, let's see that four condition records are created. 
we also see that an earlier attempt failed. And if we look at the download of the failed records, we can then see why it failed. So let's see. And it failed because we did not include a sequential number. No. Okay, now going back, you can also check your newly created condition records in the overview, which you see over here. I have now created the condition records. As a next step, I will now create a sales order to show you how the prices are determined in the sales order. So here we see the prices that we have uploaded to the SAP system. We have maintained the price for the customer material combination and for the material only. Now, for the next step, we create the sales order. And in the sales order, we include the material for which we created a condition record. Yeah. And if we have a look at the conditions, we see a PPR zero price of 15 euros per piece with a total value of 150 euros. And when we dive into a, the analysis, we see the overview of the pricing procedure. And in here, we see how the conditions are determined. So we see for condition type PPR zero for the first axis, 010, a price of 15 euros is maintained. And it does not find a price for the second axis because it found one for the first. Now, when we enter our second material, we see our other price shown of 20 euros with a total of 200 euros. And then when we dive into the analysis, we see that it does not find a condition record for the first axis, but it does find one for the second axis. All right, I've shown you the basic concept of pricing in sales and distribution and how to easily create new prices via the app Manage Prices Sales. Did you like this video? In that case, we also have a playlist regarding other topics from sales and service. Find the link down below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.